Hello everybody and welcome to Literacy Live from Leeds Playhouse. My name's Lisa and for the next half an hour we are going to go on an adventure together. Like last week, we'd love grown-ups to get in touch if they want to share your ideas. They just need to do that in the comments on Facebook or YouTube. A few things before we start. If you hear this bell, it means that it's time to stop and listen because I've got something else to tell you. And usually it means that we're moving on to a new activity. So listen at the bell. Sometimes I forget, but I'll try and remember to ring it. The other thing we need to remember is if we can make sure we've got a space around us so we can wave our arms, we can move around a little bit and we're not going to touch anybody or bang into anybody or step on anything. So just check that you've got a clear space on the floor and that you can move around a little bit. And I'm sure that your grown-ups will help you with that. Okay, are we ready? We're going to start our warm-up. Get our bodies nice and warm. The first thing we're going to do, if you watched last week, you might remember some of these moves. We're going to march on the spot. So march up and down. And stop. The next one we're going to do, we're going to hop. So let's hop. And we're going to do five. So if you watch me and then you can have a go. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, sometimes you wobble a little bit, but that's okay. And should we try the other foot? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Good counting. The next one we're going to do, we're going to swap from one leg to the, to the other. Sometimes you might wobble a bit, but that's okay. I'll have a go and then you can try. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, can you have a go at that? So from one leg to the other. Off you go. Did you manage? That's really good. Well done. The next one we're going to do, we're going to go on our tiptoes. There you go. It makes you a lot taller if you're on your tiptoes. And then we're going to put our arms up and we're going to crouch down into a tiny ball. You might be a ball or you might be a hedgehog, as small as small can be. And then you're going to come back up. Oh, big stretch up to the sky. We'll have another go at that. So stretch up and then crouch down all the way down to the floor into a tiny Ooh. Well done. Back up again. Fantastic. The next one we're going to do, we're going to shake out our arms. Shake them out. Shake them high. Shake them low to the floor. Shake them in the middle. And then we're going to shake our legs at the same time. Okay, shake your legs. Can you do that? Really good work. Our bodies are getting nice and warm now. And I think... We are warmed up. Well done. The next thing we're going to do, nearly forgot to ring my bell. Here we go. Listen for a minute. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to go on our adventure. Are you ready? Okay, today we're going on a circus adventure. Have you ever been to the circus? What did you see? Did you see clowns? Did you see people on the tightrope balancing? Did you see acrobats jumping? Also at the circus, you might have seen the ringleader, the circus ringleader. And today, our circus ringleader is called Ringleader Rosie. And she's going to introduce all the different acts at the circus. Now then, if you go to the circus, Quite often, it happens in a big top. This is a tiny big top. So if you went to see a real circus, it would be a huge tent. 
that you would walk in and sit down and watch everything that happens at the circus. It's really, really exciting. There's lights and there's music and all the acts perform. They make you laugh and you clap. And the person who introduces all those um, acts is called um, the ringleader. And she is in charge of the circus. And in our story, she's called Rosie. Now, this big top, can you see it's lovely and stripy? It's got white stripes and red stripes. But this is a tiny, tiny big top. So, can you show me? Can you show me a medium-sized big top? Can you show me a huge big top? And if you went in the big top, it would be like a really big tent, a lot bigger than a tent you may use if you go camping. It could sometimes be as big as your house. So that's where all the action happens at the circus in the big top. I think I can hear circus leader Rosie saying something. Roll up, roll up, welcome to my circus. That's the kind of thing that Rosie says a lot because she wants lots of people to come and watch the show. Shall we have a go at saying that together? Okay. Roll up, roll up. You have a go. Welcome to my circus. Excellent. Shall we try and shout that this time? That was quite loud, actually, but I bet you could do it louder. Shall we try? I'll go first, and then you have a go. Roll up, roll up. Welcome to my circus. Can you have a go at saying that? Well done. This time... Can you say it in a really, really excited voice, okay? I'll go first and then you can have a go. Roll up, roll up, welcome to my circus. You have a go. Well done. This time, can you say it in a really quiet voice? Roll up, roll up, welcome to my circus. And this time, I want you to say it in a really, really bossy voice. So get your hands on your hips. Roll up, roll up. Welcome to my circus. You have a go. Well done. Rosie is always around because she introduces the different acts at the circus. And the first act that we're going to pretend to be are, can you guess? Done. And clowns at the circus make us laugh. They make us belly laugh. And they do lots of other things. They do tricks. They play tricks on each other. They run around um, in the big top. And they have lots and lots of fun. But before they can do that, they have to get ready. So, shall we get ready? Okay. We need to put on our makeup. So, get your makeup on. Put your makeup on your face. That's it. Nice smiley face. Another thing that you need is a red nose. So get your nose, pop it on, beep, beep. Can you do that? Get your nose, pop it on, beep, beep. Well done. You've got your makeup on, you've got your red nose. We also need a hat. It could be a pointy hat. Or it could be like my hat, which is called a bowler hat. What do you think to this? Looking good. Fantastic. I feel a lot more like a clown now. Clowns love to sing. So shall I sing you my clown song and then maybe you could have a go at singing it too. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. Circus clown, circus clown, paint your face. Circus clown, circus clown, run in place. Circus clown, circus clown, 
feet, your nose, beep, beep. Circus clown, circus clown, touch your toes. Oh no, what's happened? My hat fell off, didn't it? That's okay. We've got to make you laugh at the circus, haven't we? So, shall we have a go at that again? I'll say the lines and then you can say them after me. Okay. Circus clown, circus clown. Paint your face. Circus clown, circus clown. Run in place. Circus clown, circus clown. Beat your nose. Beep, beep. Circus clown, circus clown, touch your toes. Oh, there goes my hat again. Shall we sing it together one more time, all together? All right, ready, steady, go. Circus clown, circus clown, paint your face. Circus clown, circus clown, run in place. Circus clown, circus clown, beep your nose, beep beep. Circus clown, circus clown, touch your toes. There goes my hat again. Very silly clowns, aren't we? Well done. Fantastic. Now then, I've got something to show you. Have a look at this. What is it? That's right, it's a bucket. And clowns love to use buckets at the circus because they love to throw buckets of things at people in the audience or at their clown friends. But I want you to have a guess at what is inside this bucket. Have a little think. It might be cold, icy water. <laughs> or it might be wibbly, wobbly jelly might be thick yellow custard. Have a little think. What do you think is in this bucket? Do you think I should throw it at you now? No, I'm not going to do it now because I want you to guess what's inside and then at the end of the session we'll see if any of you are right. If you've got any ideas, let your grown-ups know and they could put it in the comments on Facebook or YouTube. We would love to know your ideas. So I'm going to put the bucket over here. You might have to remind me, get the bucket at the end, and we'll see if you got the right answer. Okay, next. Clowns do silly walks. Okay, so the first silly walk we're going to do, we're going to do giant steps with our legs and our arms. Move over like this. Oh! You know if you've been a really good clown because your grown-ups laugh at you. Okay, have another go at that one. Move your arms and legs, big strides, all the way around. Fantastic. Okay, the next one we're going to do, we're going to go on our tiptoes. You should be good at this now. And we're going to use our arms and we're going to go like this. And we go. That's it. Don't forget to smile. Very good. Well done. The next one, we're going to wave our arms in the air at the, um, at the audience and we're going to skip as we go along. Ready? So smile and skip. Around we go. Really good. Wave those arms. Everybody loves the clowns and all the people in the crowd are waving back. Well done. This time, we're going to have a go at walking Backwards. Stick our bottom out a bit and we're going to walk backwards like that. There you go. That's a very silly walk, isn't it? And back again. Oh, really good. Lots of silly walks. Can you have a go at thinking of your own silly walk? And if your grown ups laugh, that means it's a really, really good walk for a clown to do. Off you go. Try and make your grown ups laugh. Did they laugh? Oh, I bet they did. I wish I could see you. I think I'd be laughing too. One more thing that clowns love to do. They love to 
That's your goal. So I want you to imagine that you've got a really lovely floaty scarf. You're going to pick one up here and you're going to go throw and catch, throw and catch, throw and catch, throw and catch. Well done. This time we're going to pick up two scarves. The good thing about scarves is that they float really slowly so it gives you time to catch them. So we're going to go throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch. One more time, throw, throw, catch, catch. Well done. Really, really good going there. Fantastic. I nearly forgot to ring the bell. There we go. Ringleader Rosie is here again. I'm going to take my hat off, pop it over there. Who's coming up next, Rosie? Should we see what she's going to say? Roll up, roll up to see the tightrope walkers. They are brave and very good at going up really high in the big top. Oh my goodness me, if you look up in the big top, you will see a big piece of rope going across the big top and that's where they have to balance. They have to balance very, very carefully on their tightrope. Shall we have a go at doing that together? Let's start at this side. And what we're going to do, we have to climb up to our platform to begin with. So get ready to climb the ladder, climb up, that's it, oh, keep going, it's very high up, we can see the people in the crowd are watching us, are we there yet? Yep, we're there, stand on your platform, have a little look down, oh my goodness me, I can see the crowds, can we wave at them, give them a smile, how do you feel? when you're so high up. I feel nervous, a little bit nervous and a little bit scared, but also in my tummy, I feel a little bit excited as well because if I get to do this, I'll be so proud of myself. Do you want to have a go with me? So we're at the top of our platform, put your arms out, that will help you balance. And we're going to put one heel in front of our tiptoes and we're going to do small steps all the way to the other side. Remember, we're very high up so we have to balance and we don't want to fall. Off we go. That's it. Over we go. Can we get to the other side? We're doing really well. Fantastic. And we are there. Well done. Oh, get back on your platform, put your arms down, give the crowd a wave and a thumbs up to say that you did it. Well done, fantastic. The only problem is I need to get back to the other side. Now I'm feeling quite brave, so I thought I might go backwards. You could choose to go backwards or you could choose to go forwards. You can decide. I'm going to be really brave and go backwards. I'm going to put my arms out again. Gonna start. You need to look over your shoulder very carefully. Oh, it's wobbly. It's quite tricky going backwards. Over we go. That's it. Are we nearly there? Can you see the platform? Oh, oh, we made it. Thank goodness for that. Oh, that makes your heart beat really, really fast because we're so high up. Wave at the crowd. Give them a thumbs up. Now, the only problem is we're still very high up and we're not going to use the ladder to get down. Can you think of a way that we could jump down? What might be underneath us that would help us? That's right, there's a net. It's like a big trampoline. So I think what we should do, we should count to three and after three, we're going to do a big jump 
into the net and then because it's like a trampoline I think we could bounce three bounces and then take a bow at the end and see if the crowd claps shall we have a go okay shall we count together one two three jump I'm gonna bounce three times one two three wave at the crowd oh they're cheering Woo! fantastic and take a bow oh wow you were so good at the tightrope walking that was fantastic well done remember what happens you're going to ring the bell i think i can hear ringleader rosie again let's see what she's got to say this time roll up roll up come and see the acrobats they are strong and they are stretchy oh, wow acrobats that sounds amazing should we see if we can say that together I'll say it first and then you can say it in a nice big voice. Roll up, roll up. Your turn. Come and see the acrobats. Well done. They are strong and very stretchy. Shall we see what the acrobats have to do to warm up their bodies? because they can't start jumping around and doing forward rolls and things to begin with. They have to warm up their bodies. So, this is called the Happy Acrobats Warm-Up. Are you ready? Okay, what we're gonna do, we are going to touch our toes because that helps us stretch our bodies. So put your hands up like this and Touch those toes, wiggle your fingers so I can see you touching your toes. We're going to do this five times. That's one, and stretch, and two, wiggle those fingers on your toes, and stretch. Well done. We're on to three, all the way down, and stretch. Four, and stretch. And one more, then we've got five, and stretch. Oh, I feel very stretchy now. All right, let's sit down and do our next stretching exercise. We are going to touch our toes, but in a different way because we're sitting down this time, aren't we? So we're going to put our hands up. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Well done. Once you've done that, stand back up. And this is the bit that's going to make us really strong. We're going to do our shoulder spirals. So put your arms out like this. And we're going to move our arms back. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll move forward. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. I want to see your muscles now to see how strong you are because you're definitely stretchy. So stretch those arms out like that as far as they can go. And now I want you to show me your muscles. Show me your muscles because you have to be strong if you're going to be an acrobat. Well done. Fantastic. Now then, thinking about all the different things that we pretended to be in the circus today, can you remember them? We were clowns, we walked the tightrope, and we did our stretches to be an acrobat. There are lots of other things you can do at the circus. You might be a trapeze artist and swing, like on this swing, from one side of the big top to the other. So you could use that one as well. But what I'd like you to do now, I would like you 
to make your body into a beautiful circus statue. Which is your favourite? Have a little think. You might want to be a clown. Remember, if it's a statue, you have to be frozen. Try not to move. That's really tricky when you're little. Or you might want to be a tightrope walker. Balance. Or you might want to be an acrobat. So show me a move that you might do as an acrobat. That's quite tricky. Did you see me wobble? Well done. Or you could think of your own. So you have a little think. And I want you to make a beautiful circus statue. Off you go. I bet you've got some really lovely ideas. Well done. There we go. There's the bell. Can you remember what I showed you at the beginning of the session? Yeah, that's right. It was the bucket, wasn't it? Did you guess what was in the bucket? be feathers, it could be water, somebody's going to get very wet if it's water, it could be the custard, it could be the wibbly wobbly jelly and we'd be very very sticky, oh what about, we've got a really good idea, somebody put slime, <gasps> it could be gooey slime, goodness me they're really good ideas aren't they, are you ready? Popcorn. Oh, I hope it's popcorn. I love popcorn. A bucket of popcorn. That is amazing. Please be popcorn. Let's see. Are you ready? Let's see if anybody gets this right. Can you count in three? One, two, three. Oh, wow. Did anybody guess confetti? That was so beautiful, the way it moved down onto the floor. I love that. Confetti in a bucket. What a good idea. That's really good. I'd like to do that again, would you? Maybe you could have some confetti at home and have a go at doing that at home. I don't know about you, but I'm quite tired now after all that clowning around and circus activity. It was... Uh, Quite hard work, but lots and lots of fun, wasn't it? We're going to do our cool down now. And this is the bit where we sit quietly and relax our minds and our bodies. And if you were here last week, we did the starfish breathing. So can you show me your hand? And what we're going to do, this is your starfish with its arms or legs, you can choose. And then you've got your finger in the other hand. And we're going to, as we go up the arm, we're going to, Breathe in and then out. So let's have a go together. Breathe in and out. 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 Well done. Do the other hand. Good. There we go. Wiggle those fingers. You might want to shut your eyes because that's even more relaxing then. So get your finger and we're going to go in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Breathe in. When you were doing um, the starfish breathing, how did it make you feel? It made me feel really calm and relaxed. And I think that's a really nice way to end our session today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've certainly had lots of fun going to the circus. And again, we'd love um, ideas. So if your grown-ups want to put comments in Facebook or YouTube, we'd love to see them and hear about them. But it's time to say goodbye now. So it's time to say goodbye from Leeds Playhouse at Literacy Live. And hopefully we'll see you again next week. Bye.